Hello my gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little how to um, on how to apply hair extensions. Now you may or may have not seen my actual hair length, um, basically because I'm always wearing hair extensions and that's because I'm obsessed with volume and lengthening and I'm not a big fan of short hair but I recently had to cut it really really short and the hair extensions have been my lifesaver as I'm a big fan of long hair rather than really short hair so I'm going to show you guys how I apply my hair extensions and these come from a lovely company called Halo Hair Extensions and this is basically with the box and if you guys have seen my Instagram lately I've just Instagrammed um, sorry about the little noise, um, that I just received my new hair extensions from Halo. They're an amazing company and I love them to bits and um, I always get my hair extensions from there and they even um, were the winner for the Hair Awards 2013. That's how good they are. Now they have clip-ins, they've got a lot of different things. They've got clip-ins, they've got an actual halo that you can put on your hair that's really easy to do. Um, there's a lot of different choices to get to even color wise. You can even send them a photo of your hair color and they can match, color match it from their side. So there's a lot of things you can actually do if you're never 100% sure what hair color you should get. I am actually um, number 60 beach bleach blonde. Um, if anyone is asking and anyone wants to find out um, what hair colour I've got. I've had hair extensions for maybe about three, two to three years and I've always had the same question. How would you get um, bleach blonde hair to grow that long? And I'm like, if only that were true, but my hair is actually not my hair, there's extensions and they're always so soft. They're really nice texture, especially when they're new, they're like so soft. and. You get some goodies in your package as well so let me just show you guys what you get in the halo order basically everything comes wrapped in gorgeous tissue paper so everything comes wrapped in this purple tissue paper you know what i love purple and then you get the halo extensions followed by some goodies for you and to maintain your extensions so the first thing that I saw this time, um, I think probably there's probably new things that they're just starting to include because in my last couple of extensions I never got them. But they started to include their Halo Extensions Shampoo and Conditioner. So I think that's really good. So if you want to wash your um, extensions, you can. I would say don't wash them too much because then you end up losing a lot of hair. If you tend to put a lot of product, for example, spray, if you put any mousse, if you straighten them a lot, if you've curled them, you want to maintain, I would say, maybe wash them maybe once a month. Um, lifetime span is about three to four months with extensions, so just give an extension, just be sure about that. You get a really lovely um, comb by Halo with their little logo on there, and you even get the clip that I used in this tutorial. So you get a lot of things that you can kind of keep you maintained and can make it easy for you to do the whole shebang with the extensions on. So that's basically everything and I was so glad that these arrived on Friday because Friday I was in, I actually won tickets to see One Direction at Wembley and I remember I really didn't have much time to get ready so literally I came home, put my state extensions on, you might have seen the extension picture on Instagram that day as well and I went to meet Emma Pickle and we went to the Wembley Stadium and watched One Direction, an amazing show, I really enjoyed myself. So without further ado, let's just get into the how to apply hair extensions. But for that, you're going to see how my hair is before extensions. Stay tuned! Okay guys, let's get started. The first thing is best is make sure you comb your hair. Just make sure you have no knots whatsoever, which I'm just doing right now, just making sure I've got nothing going on. Now another thing I do recommend is make sure you comb through your extensions. Now I like using a tangle so I just find it so easy to quickly comb through very easily like that. Um, and then you can actually use the comb that was provided to actually comb your hair through as well. So let's just get into the back. I'm just going to turn around and we're going to get in straight away. Okay guys, so we're just going to section everything off and we're going to start off with the bottom part so we're just going to just take a little bit from the bottom 
Now you're going to bring everything together. So that's the bottom strand and we're going to get the first and we're going to place them evenly on the sides. One, one in the middle and one on the other side. So we're going to take it down again and we're going to prepare one with two strands. So we'll just literally just cut through again another small section. Trip up again. Like so. And now we're going to just literally go from ear to ear and section that part off. So we're going to go exactly halfway and we're going to flip everything up again. Okay, so next up is the ear to ear section, which is halfway down. And you're going to need two of the ones with the three clips. So we're going to go from one side to the other. So if you turn your head, I need to make sure nothing is in my way and you should clip from ear just above the ear and go all the way around clipping them through and do the same for the other side so just bring everything forward and go to the other side as well so make sure you always comb your, your extensions before fine I'm going to do the exact same from here. So we're going to just literally put down any little flyaways you think you, they might get in your way. And literally clip just above the ear and go all the way around again. So that's number two and we're going to clip this one just above the other one. That's halfway. Now what I like to do is just cram through everything when you're just halfway, just to make sure everything is just combined together. There we go. So that's halfway done. Now we're just going to take the clip off again. And next we're going to go just above the ear. Perfectly sectioned. And now we'll clip that up as well. So we'll just literally like that slide as well. And we're going to take, we need one with three clips and two with two clips. So I'm just going to grab them right now. So we first are going to start off with the one with the three clips right in the middle. So if you just grab that one. You grab exactly the middle passing and you're going to pop that drive in there and you're just going to go from one side to the other clip that in as well so one side and the other side as well and then you've got two more with two clips in so you're going to do one side and the other so you're just going to grab that where you've got your fringe because you don't want that to get in the way so just literally just hold that in place so you're going to just literally put that from here all the way around. So you can grab the one with two clips and then you just clip it in all the way around. Just above that piece there. So you're going to get that back as well. And you're just going to clip that right above the ear again. Make sure it's right above the ear. And the neat point is just going to go over the second one and just above there as well. So, I would probably say make sure everything's combed through as well like that. Just comb everything through. We're going to take down the clip as well. And we're on our last three strands. Now this is totally up to you how you like to do it. So I just like to literally comb through everything, especially the back. 
you want. Here you can actually make a do a bit of volume, back comb a bit if you like. But now I'm just going to turn around and do the front. Now I'm on my last three one piece strands so for me what I like to do is since I've got more or less um, my fringe on this side I like to clip two pieces on this side and one piece on here just to make it more even. So I'm going to start off with the two piece so I'm just going to grab my um, clip again I'm just going to section off a bit of it here just to get literally a cup just halfway like my most of my fringe and then I'll clip that the other side and I'm going to apply two of the strands on this side so one in the front and one just behind it and then that just kind of goes on top and that's all smooth it out and then we're going to do the same for the other side just going to just section off a little bit of it just pull that forward a bit and we're just going to apply the one little strand just in the middle of there and we're going to take the lip out again and there we have it extensions applied and look how long they are they're amazing these are the 24 inch ones so they are a bit long but as you can see they just kind of just blend in with yours and you don't even notice that your hair is short it just blends so well into your hair and I learned this technique from a hairdresser one of my hairdressers and then I kind of just changed up into how I feel is better for me I've added some pieces there changed it up some pieces there really hope this is very helpful for you guys if you don't know exactly how to put clip-ins or maybe you're doing it wrong or you're feeling that it's not the right technique. I really hope you learned something from this video and make sure to check out the Hail Extensions website and leave the link down below with all the information on what colour mine is and everything like that. Um, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like these how-to videos, it will help me to know that you guys like them. Subscribe to my channel, the link will be down below as well and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!